Greetings, welcome to BTNE channel and here we have a new video of Oatly Barista Beyond the Naked Eye. Oatly Barista has one very important quality which I haven't found in other alternative milk products. It forms a real foam, just like cow's milk does it. So if you like cappuccino and you can't have milk, here is your answer. Oatly Barista has double amount of fat in comparison to normal Oatly drink, and its main source of fat comes from rapeseed oil and natural fats from oat grains. Maybe that extra fat makes all the difference when creating that perfect froth. Further on in the video, you will see lots of small individual bubbles suspended in observed milk. These are fat globules. You will also see large clusters of them which get formed during homogenization process. In cow's milk, there are particles called casey cells. Together with fat globules, they create similar looking clusters to one you are watching here. Notably, oat milk doesn't appear to have any casey cells. So what is holding these fat particles together? I couldn't find the answer to this question. Maybe one of you will know, so please share it in the comment section. Interestingly, I haven't found any starch particles, so they were probably removed by sieve or centrifuge during production. Also, watch out for different type of crystals. They are probably sugar and salt. On Oatly's ingredient list, we can also find items like the potassium phosphate, calcium carbonate and potassium iodide. I'm wondering if you can spot them on this video. They are probably dissolved in the liquid, but maybe some are still in the form of solid crystals. In few droplets of oat milk which I've used for this video, I found one larger piece of grain material which got through the sieving process. You will see this in the second part of the video. There is some good footage left for you to enjoy. Please consider watching till the end. Many thanks.